actually here from our head of school. And has been ahead of our head of school at Westover for the last 16 years. And was one of the earliest advocates of programs encouraging girls to study math and science. She graduated from Fordham University with a BA in mathematics, then earned her MA in mathematics scholarship at New York University. She continues to teach a class in the BC calculus. And Anne's Westover career has spanned years of teaching and dedication to girls' education. Anne is a very strong proponent of girls' education, gender equity, women's leadership, and excellence in schools. She has written articles, produced videos, and is a sought-after expert in the educational field, asked to speak frequently around the country. She is on the board of directors on a number of regional and national groups that promote women's education. She is the recent past president of the board of directors and mistresses association of the East, and also past president of the board of trustees of the National Coalition Girls School. She is on the Commission of Independent Schools for the New England Association of Schools and Colleges, a member of the Board of Directors of the Mary Andrew Initiative, and an instrumental in, founding, in the founding of Mary Andrew School, um, Girls School in Rwanda. Anne is the parent of two Western graduates, Emily in 2000 and Elizabeth in 2003. Without further ado, Um, Tom mentioned our theme, the face of the other. 
Um, and what I hope is that this year you strive to become more skilled at using our past or current problems, tribulations, or heartaches. Can they help us to empathize with others who struggle? Can they spark us to make changes that will make others' lives better? So be glad, be good. Um, being good, that's a hard thing to define. Dan Heishman, the former executive director of the Council for Spiritual and Ethical Education, once told me that the key question a school needs to ask is this. What is goodness, and in what circumstances does it flourish? I have to admit, I'm still working on the answer to those questions. I'm still working on um, what goodness is, but I can tell you some things that I know goodness is not. Goodness is not just following the rules because you'll get into trouble if you get caught. It is more than decency, kindness, and integrity, though all of those things are important parts of goodness. True goodness has a lot to do with community, with our ability to think beyond our individual wants and pleasures, and that give up some of those for common good. Goodness is the quality that allows community to exist and flourish. If we didn't care about each other, why would we bother being good at all? It's so much easier to satisfy our own wants and needs without regard to the people around us. Being good is actually our commitment to those who are surrounded with. And last but the most important of all is being brave. Here is the world, says Frederick Deacon. Beautiful and terrible things will happen. Don't be afraid. What we do in the midst of these beautiful and terrible things is to build a life and a future. We build it for ourselves, for those we love, and if we are optimistic and good, we build it for those we may not love or even know. We have a vision of what this world can be, and slowly and patiently we try to make it that. The bravest act of all is simply beginning, which is what draws us together today. And I'll leave you thinking about the beginning with this poem by Rafa Havel. He writes, it is I who must begin. Once I begin, once I try, here and now, right where I am, not excusing myself by saying things would be better elsewhere, without grand speeches and ostentatious gestures, but all the more persistently. To live in harmony, as soon as I begin that, I suddenly discover to my surprise that I am, that I am neither the only one, nor the first, nor the most important one to have set out upon that road. And if you're tempted to think that your individual actions are nothing in the face of this world's monumental problems, listen to the conclusion of the poem. Whether all is really lost or not depends entirely on whether or not I am lost. So as we start this year, I ask all of us to keep saying to ourselves, it is I who must be. Thank you.